Welcome back to the RealmWorks tutorial video series. In this video, we'll walk through how to import maps and use basic map features. Maps in RealmWorks are handled by the Smart Image feature. Smart images can be used for a variety of non-map purposes, but are frequently used for maps. Some topics come with empty Smart images added to them by default. To add a smart image to any topic, click the Add Snippet button in the section you want to add the map to. Choose Smart Image Map from the menu. Click the Smart Image icon. When prompted, click OK to save the topic. Click the Folder icon. Choose an image to load. Click Save to save the image in RealmWorks. RealmWorks isn't a map creation tool, as there are a lot of great tools out there already. We want you to be able to use whatever your favorite tool or source is and import them into your realm. This awesome tower map came courtesy of AdventureAWeek.com. Go check them out. They've got some free sample downloads just for creating an account, and a whole lot more. What RealmWorks does do is take maps from your favorite source or made in your favorite tool and layer smart gameplay functionality on top. For instance, you can add pins and descriptions to your maps to call out areas of interest. You can either right-click on the map to place a pin at that position, or click the button in the toolbar and again on the map where you want the pin. Choose a name and an optional brief description, then click OK. Click Save to commit the change. Hovering over the pin will show the name and description you provided for later reference. Often you'll want to associate topics with a map pin. This is great for identifying traps, treasures, monsters, or encounters on a dungeon map, different buildings in a city, and many other things. To associate contents with a pin, right-click the pin. Choose Associate Contents with Pin from the menu. Choose a topic to associate with the pin. Double-click or press OK. Don't forget to save your work. Notice the pin gets a small flag to indicate associated content. Hovering over the pin will give the same tooltip as before also noting the name of the associated content. The associated content has also been added to the Content link section of the Transition pane on the right. Click the Leave Edit Mode button. In View Mode, you can click the pin to navigate to the associated content. Click the Back button to return to the map. Just like topics and snippets, you can also incrementally reveal pins and even what portions of the map are visible to the players. To reveal a map to the players, first the topic itself must be revealed. Click the Reveal button next to the map name. You'll be prompted by a dialog offering to take you to the main topic. Click Yes. Click Reveal by the topic, then click Reveal by the Smart Image snippet. Click to view the Smart Image again. Using the Smart Image toolbar, click the Reveal Region button. Left-click and drag a box around the area you want to reveal. Choose Reveal Region when you're satisfied. There are also round reveal brushes that let you paint a reveal area. As well as brushes which conceal areas. To reveal a pin, right-click the pin and choose Reveal Pin. Be sure to save your work so that it is available for the players to see. To see the map from the player perspective, right-click anywhere on the map and choose Show in Player View. As you can see, only the areas you've revealed are shown, and only pins you've revealed are shown to the players. You can also use maps for navigation. There are a great many uses for smart images and mapping, from dungeon maps to world geography, even galaxy maps for science fiction settings. There are a lot of tools to play with, so give them a try with your own favorite maps. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the next video in the series.